So, in this video I will show you how I've made a wooden puzzle for my son, using a few basic tools, some plywood and acrylic paint. For a while now I've been creating shorts on YouTube and Instagram, but this time I wanted to make a longer video in which I break down my process a little bit. And I also wanted to create a physical, tangible thing for once, as opposed to all the digital stuff that I make. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. All right, let's go. For most of my art, I start off with sketching some rough thumbnails. In this case, I've already decided the final composition is going to be square. So I'm just going to try out a few different things, make little tweaks, just until I land on something that feels right. Most of the time, my basic shapes will gradually turn into more defined characters. And when I'm satisfied with the balance and the overall readability, I polish it up a little and work towards a final version. Next step is throwing in some color, and since I'm gonna jigsaw this thing out of plywood, I will send this simplified version of it to the printer. Now I'm not sure about the exact dimensions yet, so I'm printing two slightly different sizes. So yeah, it's gonna be the smaller one. Um, I'm cutting this one up into the final pieces so I can transfer them to the wood. Here you see me do that. Um, I've also made some minor last minute changes to the little cloud and the tree in the background just to fit them better into the, uh, into the overall design. Okay, now this is the boring part. I've considered using a jigsaw machine. I have one, but it's old and clunky, so I was a bit afraid I would actually break the wood. So instead I used this manual jigsaw. It was only six bucks in my local hardware store, and they're fairly easy to use. The only problem is, it's, uh, it's just very slow. Now, eventually I thought sawing all the pieces was gonna be the most time consuming part, but I've clearly underestimated the sanding process. It looks easy when you time lapse it, but in reality, it was quite a cumbersome and dirty job. Nevertheless, I'm pretty satisfied with the end result. There's a few dents and cracks, but all in all, I'm actually quite pleased with how all the separate pieces turned out and how they fit together. So here's the frame. I made it from a much thinner piece of plywood and although all the sanding has made the pieces significantly smaller, they still fit pretty well. I've glued the frame on a wooden plate with the same thickness and as you can see here, I've even fixed a few cracks using wood putty. Now, unfortunately, it's not the same color, but yeah, whatever. Oh, I also put some varnish on the back already, just to give it a bit of a shine. Now, here comes the fun part. I used basic acrylic paint in three colors, olive green, tangerine and pink. And after giving each piece two layers of paint, it was time to add the details. So here you see me putting the eye and the teeth on the dinosaur some green shading on the bush, adding a beak and eyes to the little birdo, and putting a decent face on the bear, and finishing up our friendly dino. And there you have it. Let's put it all together. I would normally use thick black lines to define the shapes in my artwork, but in this case, I don't think it really needs the outlines. There's a lot of contrast in the colors already and the margins between the pieces already create a pretty clear distinction. Also, it just looks a lot friendlier this way. All right, now for the ultimate toddler test. Yeah, okay, maybe we try this again in a few months or so. All right, thanks for watching this all the way to the end. See you next time.